Um, uh, my name is Kareem Khalil. I'm the uh, co-founder and CTO of Infinite Cooling. Um, you heard from my uh, PhD advisor, uh, Kripa Varanasi, uh, earlier in the, uh, in the event. Um, my other co-founder is Maher Damak, my co-founder and our CEO. Uh, both Maher and I did our PhDs at MIT in mechanical engineering and uh, graduated in 2018 and launched uh, Infinite Cooling. Our board is comprised of Mark Little, the retired CTO of uh, General Electric, and Carmichael Roberts is our lead investor, uh, managing partner at uh, Material Impact Fund. So Infinite Cooling's main aim is to make industrial cooling uh, more efficient all around. So if you look at basically water consumption, which is the biggest, uh, you know, one of the biggest users of water in the country, fresh water specifically, 30% of non-ag water consumption uh, is used for cooling and cooling towers uh, across the country. Um, that amounts to you know, over a trillion gallons of fresh water used just for, just for those cooling needs. And it comes at a considerable cost. You'll have areas where you have high water costs or extremely high water needs, and this will cost these operations, whether it be a power plant or a data center or whatever it might be, uh, a lot of money, up, you know, upwards of uh, $30 billion is spent in, uh, just for those needs. So let's look at an example plant. Um, uh, so this is a five, uh, 600 megawatt natural gas combined cycle plant that you would find around, around the U.S., um, they'll use over a billion gallons of water per year to cool uh, their system down. Um, they'll spend, you know, somewhere in the single digits of millions of dollars uh, to cool down that system. And uh, lastly, it uh, emits these very large plumes that you see over the cooling towers as you're passing them on the highway or wherever they might be. Um, that's actually a humongous problem for them because typically uh, they're looking for, you know, lowering their visual footprint with their nearby communities. Um, also creates safety and efficiency issues when this plume travels to other parts of the uh, power plant and uh, can create all sorts of issues. Infinite Cooling has a solution to this problem. So we've created what's called the water panel. This is a device that can be retrofitted to existing cooling towers so that you can actually reduce the appearance, the visual appearance of these plumes and recycle the water that we capture back into your cooling system. So the way that the system works is uh, we create um, a bunch of uh, ion generation electrodes, and uh, we deploy those on top of your cooling tower using a, a structure that you'll see in a minute. Um, we charge all the water droplets in the cooling tower plumes uh, that you see. We create an electric field to extract all of these droplets out on an array of meshes that you will see in a minute. Uh, and then basically with the flip of a switch, we can capture all that water and recycle it back into your cooling cycle. So what we're able to achieve is a full plume capture, so all the plume droplets that you'll see will be able to capture um, the water is extremely pure because it's evaporated, recondensed water. It's basically water that's gone through a distillation process in many ways. So it's extremely pure. Um, and lastly, plume abatement, which I mentioned, is actually quite critical for certain applications and certain towers. Additionally, um, you know, which I'm happy to elaborate on more uh, afterwards, um, because of the presence of our system on these industrial facilities, uh, whether they be power or data centers or whatever they might be, We've noticed that actually uh, just utilizing the sensors that we're already deploying and some additional uh, information that we can extract, um, utilizing some advanced analytics, we're able to also understand how we can improve our customers' uh, usage of their cooling towers in the first place. So uh, just operating the cooling towers in a, in a smarter way, whether it be controlling their fan speed, their pumps, their flow rates in their towers, we can re reduce their energy consumption by quite a lot. Additional water savings and actually reducing the amount of evaporate that's coming out of the cooling tower. And lastly, provide actually some insights, some real-time insights into what's going on with the cooling tower, typically at these industrial facilities. What you'll notice is um, problems in these cooling towers will essentially be ignored for quite a long time until it's too late, uh, causing either a power plant shutdown or a process shutdown. And we think we can solve that problem by giving these uh, operators of these plants real-time insights into what's going on with their cooling tower. Um, we have uh, eight, granted, eight granted patents, and we have around 15 more um, in, the, in the pipeline. Product's been deployed already, so this is actually an image of the MIT NRL just down the street. Um, this is a nuclear reactor, test reactor, where they have a fully operational cooling tower. As you can see, our water panels are um, deployed on the right side of this image, and they, uh, you know, on the left side, you won't see, uh, you'll see essentially the plume rising up through it unaffected. We're taking that water right now. It's just a partial deployment, but we're recycling that water in the nuclear reactor so they can reduce their water consumption. Um, here's a video of the system. Uh, so when the system's off, you can see basically the plume will rise up through our system unaffected. However, when we switch it on, you'll see the complete elimination of that plume, and we're taking that water and recycling it. Um, and lastly here, we've also been able to deploy our system at scale over the last year. So this is actually an image of our system. You can see it 
um, essentially the second from the left cooling tower with a uh, much visually abated plume. This is a 900 megawatt power plant in North Carolina that we partnered with for a first initial deployment. So this is a full scale power plant um, uh, and uh, we've achieved some, some, some great initial results here. Um, and now we're looking at deploying the system in other applications to see essentially uh, how widely applicable it could be. So in terms of uh, you know, who would be great to talk to, I'll be in the, in the room off to the side. Anyone who has cooling towers. You know, these cooling towers are produced by the same um, OEMs across many of these industries. So any thermoelectric power generation process, nu uh, nuclear, natural gas, biomass, coal, but industrial process cooling, data centers, uh, chemical refineries, um, raw materials processing steel, you know, uh, cement, things like that, food and beverage. And then lastly, our, t our technology is also applicable to what we'll call modular cooling. So these are cooling towers that are essentially deployed, um, fully built to, um, to the industry. This could be used for comfort cooling, some smaller industry as well. Um, our technology obviously could be applied to those as well. Um, and we're talking to several OEMs of these different uh, cooling towers to potentially integrate it into it in, in advance. Um, so happy to talk to any of you about your, your water and your cooling tower needs. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.